L.A. Rider is brought to you by Dudley DeBosier Injury Lawyers, serving Louisiana motorcyclists and their families for nearly two decades. Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers for the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign. When you're on a motorcycle, you got to look out for all kinds of stuff. But after a crash, it's a danger you can't see that can really get you. The insurance company is working behind the scenes to deny you compensation. They're building a case against you, but at Deli de Bossier, we're working for you. Keep your head on a swivel. Let these guys look out for you. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley de Bossier. 444-4444. Hello, I'm T.W. Robinson, and welcome to L.A. Rider, Louisiana's number one destination for motorcycle travel, lifestyles, and adventure. We've got another great show for you today. Coming up, more than 4,000 gold wing riders gather in Shreveport for the 43rd annual wing ding. Tammy Arder and I check out all the action, including a surprise announcement. Amanda Joe and Team Cajun Thunder keep racking up the wins on the skilled rider competition circuit. And Amanda is here to tell us all about the recent event in New Jersey. The big wheels keep on turning at Law Enforcement Motorcycle Specialties, and I check out the latest custom builds rolling out of Josh Velour's shop. All this and more coming up, so let's hop on the bike and take a ride. I'm T.W. and we're here in Shreveport at the 43rd Annual Wing Ding. And I'm Tammy Orinder and we are so excited to be in Shreveport as this is that 43rd Annual. There are about 4,000 people that have come here, not just from the United States, but from all over the world. <music> 4,000 gold wing riders can't be wrong. Honda's venerable luxury touring motorcycle is still king of the road. That's how many members of the Goldwing Riders Association gathered in Shreveport over the July 4th weekend to celebrate the organization's 43rd anniversary. And what did you ride down from Nebraska? There's only one thing you can ride from Nebraska. It's it a Honda. The Honda. Uh, Honda. So you Gold came to Wing Ding on, on a Goldwing. On a Goldwing. <laughs> the Goldwing is the most comfortable bike you can ride. No offense to the Harley but uh, the Gold Wings are extremely comfortable, especially take on trips. A lot of people will say it's like uh, riding on your sofa. Founded in 1977, GWRRA claims more than 72,000 members worldwide who, according to their website, promote safe, enjoyable riding while also working to improve the public image of motorcycling. We have folks that come in from Canada. We even have folks come in from overseas. So we are an international group. We also do educational training. Uh, you can take an advanced rider course, whether it's two wheel or three wheel. We are a very safety conscious organization. There were rides, seminars, and safety sessions, but perhaps the most popular feature of the five day event was a huge indoor trade show, where riders could check out the latest riding gear shop for accessories, and even dress up their ride right on the spot. Tammy and I had a great time roaming the exhibition hall floor and taking it all in. All right, this is my kind of deal. Everything under one roof. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. And they have roses. Oh. That's a very popular pattern. 
That's a red and an orange paint coming together, custom color. We've been doing gold wings the whole time we've been in business. We're the, was one of the only LED vendors coming to the wing ding for many years. Despite all the fun and fellowship, the 43rd annual Wing Ding in Shreveport opened with a rather somber announcement. The Gold Wing Road Riders Association was shutting down, and this would be the last Wing Ding. The announcement, coupled with a rumor circulating the convention that Honda will soon discontinue the Gold Wing, came as a shock to members attending this year's event. But all those we talked with pledged that the spirit of the organization and its 800 chapters would continue on. We are going to pick it up and run with it. The chapters will stay as the chapters. The district will stay as the district. And too many people have made too many friends. So you're just not going to walk away from that. There's some lifelong friendships that have been made 30 and 40 years of doing this uh, down the road. You're just not going to walk away from these people. I cannot see them just saying, just letting it turn, turn the lights out, we're done. I just can't see that happening. Honda's motto for many years, you meet the nicest people on Hondas. And I think that has been something that has really uh, come true. I've, I've met, have so many friends, that's why, you know, we, we enjoy coming to these things. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. GWRRA and the annual winding may be done, but the gold wing still has a lot of life left in it, thanks to the hundreds of thousands of men and women who have chosen it as their very own king of the road. Back with more LA Rider right after this. LA Rider is brought to you by the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign, a 501c3 nonprofit organization exclusively dedicated to promoting motorcycle awareness and rider safety throughout Louisiana and the nation. I didn't see him. Watch for us. She just came out of nowhere. See us. Oh, God, what are they going to do? Save us. Please, watch for motorcycles. You might just save someone's life. Improve your skills. Make U-turns with ease. Tighten your corners and ride with more confidence and greater control. Sign up now for Cajun Thunder's Motorcycle Skills Training Course taught by police instructor Mike Richard and Amanda Joe at Cajun Thunder's state-of-the-art facility in Ponchatoula. Take your riding skills to the next level with Cajun Thunder's Rider Advancement Training. Thank you, Louisiana, for making Baton Rouge Harley the number one dealer in the state two years running. Huge selection, low use prices here in Louisiana. Clearly marked with our no haggle price. Need payments, rates? Just ask. No filling out any paperwork. A warm welcome to our new owners, Rumble On. Need to sell your bike? It's easy at rumbleon.com. Upload a few pictures and you'll have a cash offer in minutes. Free pickup, too. Baton Rouge Harley, serving Louisiana for over 20 years. At G and Gonzalez, we do it all, from really big to the really small. Keeping you safe? No problem. We have the latest AOT racing gear found exclusively at G and Gonzalez. Don't monkey around. Head on down to G and Gonzalez of Baton Rouge, where the fun begins. of twists and turns on U.S. Highway 51. But on a beautiful October Saturday morning, it doesn't really matter. Just getting out on the bike and getting your face in the wind is great therapy on just about any highway. 
especially when it's a cool, sunny day. Besides, US Highway 51 is still a great road to ride, even though it is pretty much straight as an arrow. The pavement is smooth, the traffic is generally light, and the scenery is great. The segment between Ponchatoula and Kentwood also takes you through great towns like Tickfall and Independence, where you can always stop and poke around if you want to do a little exploring. But on this particular morning, we already had a destination in mind, and it was just outside Kentwood. In less than an hour, we were pulling into Skinny's, a northern Tangipahoa Parish restaurant that has been serving the people of southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi for more than half a century. Now don't let the name fool you. You won't get Skinny eating at Skinny's. In fact, you will be well fed. Skinny's is known primarily for their barbecue, but they also feature great seafood, steaks, and plate lunches. They also make a pretty mean hamburger, too. Mm-hmm. Very good. Skinny's also has a full bar and banquet hall, and they have a second location in Macomb. Food was great, place was great. I can't wait to come back again. If you are looking for great home-cooked food at a reasonable price and friendly service to boot, check out Skinny's. Bikers are always welcome. Motocross? We've got it at Gian Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. All the bikes, all the gear, and the expertise to help make you number one at the track. From beginner to expert, we've got just what you need at Gian Gonzalez in Baton Rouge. Come see us today at Gian Gonzalez, Louisiana's oldest family-owned power sports dealer, located in downtown Baton Rouge in the shadow of the state capitol. Race on down to Gian Gonzalez. Becoming number one starts here. We're waiting for you! For the best in restorative and cosmetic dental care, choose Dr. Jason Hutto. Your smile is important and so is your overall oral health. And at the Dental Office of Jason Hutto, our aim is to provide the highest quality dental care. From implants and cosmetic procedures to fillings, root canals, and cleaning, choose Dr. Jason Hutto. Hi, I'm Jason Hutto. Call for your appointment today. But not on Fridays. That's the day we ride. For more than 40 years, Robert Rad Leonard has provided South Louisiana motorcyclists with all their needs, from a showroom jam-packed with all the latest gear to a full-service shop featuring skilled technicians who handle everything from routine service to complete engine rebuilds. Rad Cycles also carries a huge selection of pre-owned models and has the area's largest inventory of used bike parts. For all your riding needs, do what South Louisiana motorcyclists have been doing since 1978. Go Rad! Rad Cycles, they're rider recommended. Looking for a trailer? Check out Mike Gerald's Trailer Depot. At Mike's two Baton Rouge locations, you'll find a huge inventory of high quality motorcycle trailers, boat trailers, cargo trailers, utility trailers, and custom built trailers. Plus, the largest inventory of trailer parts and accessories in the area. Can't find that perfect trailer? Let Mike build one for you. Mike Gerald's Trailer Depot, two locations in Baton Rouge to serve you. They're rider recommended. At Jandy Imports, we have everything for your ride. From high quality leather jackets, vests, and chaps, to saddlebags, luggage, and riding boots. We have a large selection of helmets, too, and feature a full line of Amsoil and Bike Care products. At Jandy Imports, you'll find the area's largest selection of patches, all sewn on for you while you wait. You need it? We've got it. At Jandy Imports, the, the little, little store with the big inventory. Come see us at Jandy Imports. Want a high quality used motorcycle delivered to your door with a money back guarantee? At usedbikesdirect.com you can choose from hundreds of high quality American, Japanese and European motorcycles. Just browse our website, pick your bike, get your financing and arrange your trade in. All from the comfort of your home and we'll deliver it straight to your door for free. Complete with a 30 day money back guarantee. Buying a used motorcycle has never been easier or safer. Just go to usedbikesdirect.com and start shopping. I'm T.W. and we're here at Law Enforcement Motorcycle Specialties where Josh Valour is building some incredible bikes with some really big wheels. The big wheels keep on turning at 
Josh Valore's Walker, Louisiana shop. During the day, Josh spends most of his time keeping police motors on the road, but lately, in his spare time, he's been helping to create some real head turners. Wow. So Josh, I know the name of your business is Law Enforcement Motorcycle Specialties. So is this a police bike? Definitely not. <laughs> we uh, we do, that. our main business is law enforcement motorcycles. We do several different departments. Um, these bagger projects started with uh, a customer of mine. We did a lay frame 34. Wow. I agreed to it and uh, I figured, hey, you know, mm -hmm. why not? Yeah. But it, and have you, you enjoyed doing this because of the creative? Yeah, I do. The big wheel craze is the latest thing in the custom motorcycle world. Bored with chopping, bobbing, and stretching their rides, some people have turned to adding larger front wheels to create their custom look. At one time, a 21-inch front rim was something unique, but the big wheel bikes being built here pushed the envelope even further. When this came in, all the, the bike was stock as far as all the chrome and everything. It was just a stock street glide. So what we did was we started ordering chrome and showing the customer and kind of made a theme for it and just went from there. This is a 30 inch wheel and that's a, a 18 inch brake rotor. So that's the thing now. You got bigger wheels now. You, they go all the way up to a 34 now. These custom baggers are big, and they are heavy, too. The large front ends require a lot of special engineering, and custom air suspension is not just a cool feature. It's pretty much a requirement. Are they hard to handle? Well, that depends on who you ask, but they do require a bit of a learning curve. You can set your air ride to any comfort you want. Like these two buttons right here are for my air ride for the front to go up, in the rear to go up. So I base up on how I want to ride and I feel a flow. If I figure feel rubbing, like doing a little rough, I let some air out and I just balance it off. And it rides it ride just fine. Do you feel the weight in the handlebars, especially as solid as that is? Now, if you get a lighter wheel with less material, it's a lot easier to handle, but you definitely feel the weight of it in the handlebars. Custom bikes are designed to attract attention, and the radical front wheels and custom paint jobs are just a part of the package. Round and round they go. Where they'll stop, nobody knows. Love them or hate them, big wheel baggers are all the rage, as more and more riders proclaim, it's what's up front that counts. <laughs> Just putting on leather and sitting on a bike doesn't make someone a biker. And it's easy to tell the posers from the pros. Same goes for law firms. Just because someone's a lawyer doesn't mean they know motorcycle cases. At Deli de Bossier, we've been fighting for injured bikers all over Louisiana for years. After a crash, get experience on your side. Call Dudley de Bossier. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley de Bossier. 444-4444. At Jandy Imports, we have everything for your ride. From high quality leather jackets, vests, and chaps, to saddlebags, luggage, and riding boots. We have a large selection of helmets, too, and feature a full line of Amsoil and Bike Care products. At Jandy Imports, you'll find the area's largest selection of patches, all sewn on for you while you wait. You need it? We've got it. At Jandy Imports, the, the little, little store with the big inventory. Come see us at Jandy Imports. Thank you, Louisiana, for making Baton Rouge Harley the number one dealer in the state two years running. Huge selection, low use prices here in Louisiana. Clearly marked with our no haggle price. Need payments, rates, just ask. No filling out any paperwork. A warm welcome to our new owners, Rumble On. Need to sell your bike? It's easy at rumbleon.com. Upload a few pictures and you'll have a cash offer in minutes. Free pickup too. Baton Rouge Harley, serving Louisiana for over 20 years. 
Want a high-quality used motorcycle delivered to your door with a money-back guarantee? At usedbikesdirect.com, you can choose from hundreds of high-quality American, Japanese, and European motorcycles. Just browse our website, pick your bike, get your financing, and arrange your trade-in, all from the comfort of your home. And we'll deliver it straight to your door for free, complete with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Buying a used motorcycle has never been easier or safer. Just go to usedbikesdirect.com and start shopping. Improve your skills. Make U-turns with ease. Tighten your corners and ride with more confidence and greater control. Sign up now for Cajun Thunder's Motorcycle Skills Training Course taught by Police Instructor Mike Richard and Amanda Joe at Cajun Thunder's state-of-the-art facility in Ponchatoula. Take your riding skills to the next level with Cajun Thunder's Rider Advancement Training. At G and Gonzalez, we do it all, from really big to the really small. Keeping you safe? No problem. We have the latest AOT racing gear found exclusively at G and Gonzalez. Don't monkey around. Head on down to G and Gonzalez of Baton Rouge, where the fun begins. Welcome back. While well, Amanda Joe and Team Cajun Thunder continue to score victories on the National Motorcycle Skills Competition Circuit, at last month's event in New Jersey, the team earned nearly two dozen trophies. The competition took place at the Mammoth MetLife Stadium Complex in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Normally, this is the home of the New York Giants and the New York Jets of the National Football League. But for three days in June, it hosted three dozen law enforcement and civilian skilled riders from all across the country for the North Jersey Motorcycle Skills Competition. This was Cajun Thunder's third competition of the year, but only Amanda's second. That case of the flu sidelined her in Pennsylvania earlier this year. But both the team and Amanda did quite well in New Jersey, continuing their string of wins and taking home 20 trophies. This competition has become one of my new favorite ones. It's, it's pretty neat to see when you go to these competitions now. In the beginning, it was you would meet so many new people and you become so connected in this network that now you know when somebody new comes in because you make so many friends and uh, you see a lot of familiar faces. One of the highlights of the competition was Mike Swim's slow ride. Now this story is less than five minutes long, so we can't show you the whole thing but it is the longest slow ride in competition history. The average time was 30, 45 seconds, if, if they got that far, which is pretty impressive for a regular competition. This time, my dad did five minutes and 55 seconds. <laughs> That's unheard of anywhere we've gone. I mean, the next up was in the four minutes, then there was a three minute, and mine was a, a 2.47, I believe. But to sit there <laughs> for almost six minutes just balancing this bike. It's, it's pretty incredible to watch. Don't get us wrong, there was lots of fast moving stuff too. And the team from Ponchatoula showed everyone a thing or two there as well. Another noteworthy feature of the competition was the team slow ride. While it doesn't count for points, it's always a crowd favorite. Amanda made history by forming an all-girl team, which showed the guys just what the ladies can do. 
you know, we could have easily put our four best team members in and, and formed the ultimate slow ride team, but we didn't want to do that. We decided to split everybody up, form our own teams to give everybody a chance, work with everybody out there, bring everyone together. And, uh, and the team that I formed was all female. And it was neat because we had, we had two experts, two novice, three civilians, one cop. It was so neat to bring everybody together like that and have an all-female group do it. It was cool. As we know, Amanda Jo has a long-term goal of beating her dad at the cones. And while she didn't do it in New Jersey, she says she feels like she's making good progress. You know, my main goal now is to, uh, to compete against my dad. Um, he, he won again. <laughs> Actually, I believe he was second overall in the whole competition. Um, I won fifth place in the speed and the precision and fourth in the slow ride. He, of course, won first. Um, but it was, it was neat being right up there with the best. Though my dad and I are in serious competition with each other. <laughs> we banded our, our forces together for the partner ride. And that's just another fun event at the competition. Uh, it's like a, a cat and mouse chase. One person goes first, the other person follows. It, and it's in the speed pattern. All the same rules apply. Quickest wins with least mistakes. And uh, he and I got to do that one together. And we won third place for it. But I thought it was really special because someone came up to me after and said they saw the best thing out there that day. And it, it would have been better than winning any first place prize. He said that the reason he got started in competition riding was because his dad did. And all he ever wanted to do was ride with his dad. And he said it just touched his heart to see me and my dad ride together. And I thought it was really, really neat. Way to go, Amanda. Keep showing everyone how to ride like a girl. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us again. Until next time, remember, we haven't been everywhere, but it's on our list. I'm T.W. Robinson. See you next time on L.A. Rider. L.A. Rider is brought to you by Dudley DeBosier Injury Lawyers, serving Louisiana motorcyclists and their families for nearly two decades. Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers for the Motorcycle Awareness Campaign. When you're on a motorcycle, you got to look out for all kinds of stuff. But after a crash, it's a danger you can't see that can really get you. The insurance company is working behind the scenes to deny you compensation. They're building a case against you, but at Deli de Bossier, we're working for you. Keep your head on a swivel. Let these guys look out for you. Motorcycle crash? Demand different. Demand Dudley de Bossier. 444-4444. God bless Chrome Cowgirls like us.